Um, hey YouTube, so today guys, we have some pretty controversial news here. So guys, this video is all about the iPhone 6 Plus and this new phenomenon called the Bend Gate. Basically, the iPhone 6 Plus is a, has a 5.5 inch display. It's a very, very long phone. In terms of length, it rivals the LG G3, right? And basically, Apple in this design chose to use an all aluminum design, right? So some people have been reporting, especially with G with skinny jean use, if you put your phone in your pocket for an extended period of time, a few hours, and especially in skinny jeans because they're tighter and there's more of a pull, people have been reporting that their phone bends. Yes, I'm not joking, the phone literally bends. A lot of Apple fanboys are just saying, oh, buy cargo pants, you know, maybe put the phone in your jacket pocket. So basically, Apple fanboys, my criticism for you is, this phone costs over a thousand dollars. I know you may not pay a thousand dollars because of you, because what most cell phone companies do is they subsidize the phone, usually you pay two hundred or three hundred dollars for the phone. But in reality, this phone basically is worth a thousand dollars with no contract. And basically, guys, this is unacceptable. You Apple fanboys need to understand when you're wrong here. You cannot excuse this by, by telling people to change the way they live because their $1,000 phone wasn't tested properly by Apple, right? Do you see the issue here? And all people, Apple fans all over the place have been criticizing Samsung for years, right? Remember, Samsung has had large phones like this for years now, right? Apple fans have been criticizing Samsung for, for saying, Oh, why do you have a plastic back? It feels so cheap in my hand. Well, maybe Samsung knew something that Apple never knew. Maybe they realized that aluminum is too malleable and could not be used on such a large phone. Maybe Samsung wasn't so stupid, guys. And not only that, guys, but the whole, the whole thing, oh, it doesn't feel premium. In my opinion, this is a load of crap. I, as soon as I buy my phone, I put it in a case, alright? So I don't even feel the back of the phone anyway. Who, honestly, who gives a crap how your phone feels? Who gives a, do you honestly care? I, 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 I always get pissed off when it's like, oh, it doesn't feel premium. I don't give a crap how it feels. I want it to not bend when I put it in my pocket, and I just want it to be, I just want it to function. I don't care how it feels, really. It's just such a stupid argument Apple fanboys always use, because Samsung, you know, Samsung phones don't feel premium. Who, honestly, who gives a crap? See guys, see why, honestly Apple fanboys, you need to understand here that this is unacceptable. Okay, stop being a fanboy and you have to understand this is unacceptable. Remember, this phone is a very expensive phone. Simple things like this that could have been solved by testing the phone under basic, basic, you know, basic conditions, everyday conditions people have. We have, we have you know, they would have simply would have figured out this issue. I, I don't know why they didn't, they didn't see this coming. I mean, I really don't understand why. The next time, guys, the next time before you criticize Samsung and Android, maybe you should think. Because remember, I, I'm telling you, I, I guarantee you Samsung tested metal. And they probably saw what was going to happen if they put, you know, they put the S4, the S5 with metal. So that's why they put plastic, right? It really, it, I'm really, you know, I really am just a little frustrated here if you realize this. But overall, what a, what a stupid, what a stupid thing here. Apple, Apple, you gotta, you gotta fix this, all right? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. So thank you and bye.